when they post a photo with a suit and they're talking about success and all this stuff, it's like, you just got invited to a wedding today. That's why you're wearing a suit. It's not because you became a CEO. Just go enjoy the wedding. You know what really annoys me? Those guys who post a million Instagram stories about how they're making moves in silence and trying to beat the people that are preying on their downfall and they're posting a million stories and it's like, man, just make the moves. Don't say that you're gonna do it. A lot of people don't actually want to achieve their goals. They just want the validation which comes from the external perception of other people thinking they're achieving their goals. And the reason I know that's the case is because actually achieving the goals requires a lot more work than just posting an Instagram story, convincing people that you're achieving your goals. That's the difference. And this can actually be applied to a lot of different areas of life, believe it or not. Even to the simplest level of, did you go to the gym if you didn't post an Instagram story? It's the same thing. You don't have to post an Instagram story. You can just go do the workout. If you're an influencer and your life depends on you posting gym selfies, okay, whatever. But the point is, that's work. It's not making moves. Making moves is when you are making vital decisions that affect the future direction and outcome of your life. Even worse so, if you spend more time announcing those decisions than actually the time spent on executing the decisions, things probably won't work out that well for you. It's really frustrating, especially if you speak to other people with ambition who have similar targets to yourself if you're somewhat entrepreneurial. And even when you check in with them a few months later, they're still at the same spot and they're saying, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, but they haven't done it yet. And I understand this because paralysis by analysis is actually a very easy trap to fall into. I've been there. I just think that action outweighs everything. It really does. Taking action beats telling someone you're gonna take action every single time. Because by taking the action, you learn. Then you can take better action without announcing that action to the world every single day. They see the end result and then they think you're an overnight success and they say, how did you do this? All of that stuff. It's really quite something. Unless your form of taking action is recording and blogging and detailing your entire process, that's different. But that is the goal, right? Doesn't it defeat the purpose of moving in silence if you say that you're moving in silence? Because it's not silence anymore if you're telling people. And it's like when people post an Instagram story wearing a suit. I've been there, I've done this, I'm holding my hand up as guilty, right? When they post a photo with a suit and they're talking about success and all this stuff, it's like, you just got invited to a wedding today, that's why you're wearing a suit, it's not because you became a CEO, just go enjoy the wedding. Uh, yeah, I think I did that when I was younger, I can't remember when, but the point is, don't announce your moves, just make the moves, okay? Had to get off my chest. The amount of posts I've made on my Instagram about my YouTube channel is a solid zero, and I plan to keep it that way. And also, in my experience, if you've got any sort of project, hustle, whatever it is, drop shipping, YouTube, clothing brand, company, business, trading, any kind of side hustle that you have. I think it's like a universal rule. People don't care unless it's finished and bringing results. They simply don't. And even when it's finished and bringing results, like they care if it benefits them, they'll give you some praise, right? But if it's in the process of being built, they do not care because it doesn't mean anything. It's not tangible. So your moves have to bring tangible results before you can announce them. You have to wait for people to recognize that and show you that they care about what you're doing. If you just say, I'm making moves, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, you're not really making moves, you're just talking. And you and I both know that a man is judged by his actions and results, not by what he says. So guys, so that was a bit more ranty, a bit less structured, but I hope you learned something today. And guys, in a world that tries to break men down, I'm here to build them back up. Thank you, and I'll catch you in the next one.